Alright, Hayes Meg here. It's a couple days since I last installed this. And uh, fast forward to the future. <laughs> so, so here it is. This is the DZ box installed. It's on there. Secure. Pretty secure. Um, I've got a lock on it. Uh, it's a combo lock. I've already kind of undid it already. So, but, uh, but yeah, so there's the hasp right here. And you just hold it up. And it does hold itself straight up like that. That's the inside right there. Plenty of space. Um, so I'm gonna tell you now. I'm pretty disappointed. I'm pretty disappointed with how thick the plastic is on this. So the only thing that is really double walled is the lid. The lid is pretty stout. So what I'm gonna say, like I said, it was strong enough where I could sit on it, you know. Uh, but the rest is very thin plastic, you know. Um, I would say if you had like a sharp enough like folding knife. Like a like a three inch folding knife, you could probably just stab it right through it and cut right through it. And it you would have wouldn't have much problem sawing through this. So it's not a it's not super secure by any means. <laughs> so so like yeah, this you know don't put anything really valuable in there. Put you know that's all I'm gonna say. It's not as it's definitely not as secure as a uh, a uh, a steel box. Um, toolbox type of thing. Uh, so with that being said, the base is really flimsy. Look at how much it flexes. It flexes a whole lot. I don't like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to make a base for it. We're going to make a, we're going to cut a piece of wood that fits the bottom here exactly. And then we're going to bolt the base with the, with the box onto the frame. So what that'll do is it'll actually stiffen up the, the, um, the tongue here. We'll stiffen up the, the kind of A-frame here, and uh, it'll it'll provide a strong base for it. So, I don't know. Um, so your stuff will be a little more secure in there, you know, that's what I'm going to say. Um, but, yeah, there's nothing to say that, you know, if somebody could get a knife and just just cut through the lock right here. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, dude, uh, it's, not, uh, it's the, not the most secure of things. So, so, uh, so we're not quite done with the install yet. I'm going to try to beef up the base a little bit. I feel that like yeah, if you put something heavy enough in there or something bounces around enough, it may crack the bottom, and uh, and then like yeah, you will have a bad day. So <laughs> your stuff won't be held on there. It's it feels like it's weakest. It feels like it's weakest right here. For some reason, there's something holding it. Maybe there's a. Oh, it's because of like yeah, it's because of the ends. The ends give it support. But like right here in the front is like where it's bowing the most. So, um, so I'm gonna go get a piece of uh wood and then we'll we'll reinforce the base and then uh and then yeah so one thing i thought that would be good to put in here is like uh uh firewood firewood uh last time i went camping uh i put uh i put the firewood in my van because i don't really have places to put it on my trailer uh but now i do so um and plus the firewood made a big mess inside the van like wood chips all over the place um it's a i, I think this would be good to put you know dirty stuff in here and uh, it's reasonably cleanable. I think uh, if you were, you could make like a drain hole for it too, I guess. Uh, but since we're gonna piece, put a piece of wood, I don't know. Um, we'll have to put a drain hole somewhere else. If if water does get in there, I don't think water will really get in there, man. Uh, but if you if you do want to wash it out with a, gar a garden hose or something, you know, it would be handy to have a, like a hole in it for just kind of like a drill a hole somewhere, so it uh it drains water, you know. Um, but we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> All right, so let's okay, get to, so let's... here's what we're gonna use for our base. Um, I'm sure you can find something like this at your local hardware store, like a Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, this this I actually had already lying around. I don't remember how much this cost me. It probably doesn't cost me more than 15 bucks. I'll tell you that. Um, it's just like a piece of wood that uh, it's it's like a kind of like it's a compressed uh, particle board is what it is. So. It's it's stronger than particle board, but it's still particle board. <laughs> but I think I think this will be okay for what we're gonna use it for. Um, so let's go take it and put it on top of the box. I think we're gonna have to take the box off so we can drill the holes properly. Um, but uh, for now, I don't know. I wonder is the top exactly the same? No, the top is actually a little bit bigger than the rest of the box. The best thing to do would be to uninstall the box again <laughs> so um yeah also just in case you guys can see this is the fender 
uh, fender washers and then there's another fender washer underneath here and then uh, and then I, I we, we may have to put a uh, what we might have to do is put a, a stronger uh, or a longer a longer bolt now um, because we're gonna add this to it so basically this is gonna just be on the bottom um, you you could also what you could do is just cut it and then just put it in there just kind of just shoehorn it in there I'm sure it's not going to fit in there perfectly. Um, it's actually going to, it's probably going to wind up being a little bit smaller. Um, but it does stick out from the frame, so um, I think the best thing to do would be to just kind of, kind of just put it in there and then bolt it onto the base with the base to the frame, and then uh, and then that way at least it makes your it makes your frame a little bit more rigid, you know. What I'm gonna say. I don't know if you want it to flex or not. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe letting it flex is a good thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if this thing will crack or not. Um, but yeah, as it stands, like it's it's really flimsy. The base is really flimsy. I, I, I'm not really happy with that. So I'm gonna go reinforce the base. Is what I'm gonna do. All right. So let's go and do it. So we're gonna take this. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, so just to show you, it's. Oh, and it fits perfectly. So I'll get the let me get the measurements for that. Um, I'm gonna wind up. We're not gonna wind up using all of it because obviously we're gonna be cutting it in a triangle shape. Um, this is actually the base for my chinchilla cage, but my all my chinchillas passed away, so I don't. I still have the cage, but um, no chinchilla. <laughs> I'll probably just buy another piece of wood if I ever get chinchillas again. So, um, but yeah, so. So we're gonna use the the box as a stencil, and then we're gonna make a stronger base for it. So, all right. Okay. So since I'm taking the the box out of the trailer, um, I'm, I didn't weigh it before, and now I got a chance to weigh it because we took it. We took. I, I already uninstalled it. Um, I'm gonna use this here luggage scale here, this sharper image luggage scale, and we'll see how much it weighs. My guess is somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 pounds, maybe lighter. It up by the hasp. Hopefully, it doesn't break. It's got my tools in it. It's got my tools, but uh, I took my tools out. Um, the fasteners are inside the box, so, uh, so this is the weight with the fasteners. Okay. It's about almost nine pounds. Almost nine. I'm gonna look here real closely. Nine pounds, right on the money. Maybe a little tad bit heavier than nine pounds. So it's actually much lighter than 15 pounds <laughs> that I guess. So yeah, um, that's how much the box weighs. That's how much it's gonna add to your trailer tongue weight. Pretty much nothing. <laughs> With the board, eh, you know, the board probably a little more. It probably, that board will probably make it a little closer to 10 pounds, so. That's how much the DZ trailer box weighs. Um, also, there's a sticker inside that says, um, like on the back, there's a sticker that says 25 weight on it. So I'm thinking that you probably only want to put like 25 pounds worth of stuff in there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, what I'm thinking. Which is, uh, okay, I got the box sitting on the board right there, and then we're just going to draw a line around it. Um, yeah, with uh, some permanent markers. Um, what's the word? Uh, so I chose to cut it in the middle because the edges are kind of messed up on this board. So, uh, and we got to cut like a little bit smaller than the box. Okay. So here goes. Okay, there we go. So you can see I just traced it around the box. Uh, we're probably going to wind up, say, we're probably going to have to wind up cutting it a little bit shorter than that. Um, so, I wanna say. so we're going to try to just follow the inside pretty much. Here. That's what the stencil looks like. Um, hmm. I think we will drill the holes after. Let's drill the holes after. Um, I think what we're going to do is. Uh, when we get this inside the box, we will uh, 
we'll um, we'll put something heavy on top to hold it down and then I'll just drill from the bottom up so yeah so so the holes line up perfectly so shouldn't be too hard all right so I'm gonna go get a uh, handy dandy mr. jigsaw and we're gonna cut inside this line a little bit maybe like half an inch um, inside a little bit it's okay if it's a little bit shorter it's okay you just have to make sure it fits in there that's what I want to say um, if it's too big we can shave it you know all right so I'm just gonna speed this video up uh, uh, so I'm gonna use uh, the saw I, for, I just realized oh I have a saw that will be a lot easier to use uh, most of it are straight cuts for all the curved work I got my jigsaw so <laughs> the funny thing is I was looking at the jigsaw the other week and I was like man uh, I, I never like use this thing uh, <laughs> I wish I would have buy it and then and then like I realized uh, oh, we, oh we could use it when we, when we do this so <laughs> so well yeah um, okay so like I said I'm gonna cut it a little bit inward from where where it is right now um, it looks like yeah 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 so we'll just do the straight cuts with the saw first Okay, so that was the first cut. Um, so what I did was uh, I used uh, so there's a there's a different lines here, and you can uh, I think at zero it's right on the center, right here, and it right here it's offset a little bit. It says forty. I don't know why it says forty five, but uh, I think that's you can you can actually tilt this one, but. Uh, basically I use this notch here I line it up with this notch and it, it cuts it it moves the cut to the left a little bit like however many thing that is so I just use that um, and, and that undersized it a little bit okay so all right I'm gonna cut the rest of it I guess uh, oh, here goes. Ta-da! That's what we're working with there. <laughs> Hopefully it fits. We'll see. All right. I uh, just put it in there and it, it fits. Uh, I think I probably undersized it a little too much. There's a little space around it. You know? or all the, no, it's actually fine. Okay, so all the all the fasteners are in there. But yeah, that's what it's going to look like. Uh, all right. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hang the. We're going to put something heavy inside. Heavy. <laughs> something heavy inside so so when I drill it the the board won't move I can't clamp it down because it's like inside there but uh, yeah so um, we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll and we'll use the holes that are already drilled in there as a template to drill the holes in here but I gotta get I gotta get all those fasteners and stuff out of there first okay so just in case you're wondering what I'm using for a weight and if a 2000 watt uh, generator portable generator will fit in the box Yes, it does, so the lid doesn't close. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't close. I guess if you think the... No, 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 I think the gas cat would get in the way. Yeah, so... All right, so th I'm just... That's only in there just to hold, press down on the board so um, so it doesn't, like, pop up. So I just got to make sure I align it properly first because, like, it actually... It has some play in there, and then, and then I'm going to drill it from underneath. Let's see what we're going to drill. Right here. 
here's a hole here. Right here, hard to see. There's a hole right here. Oh, that's how we're gonna do it. Got it? Good. I still have the drill bit on there from. Okay, before I uh, go too far into this, uh, before I put the box back on, I'm gonna go um, plasti dip my trailer again. If you guys are wondering what. Uh, what my why my red Harbor Freight trailer looks kind of blackish now uh, is because I, I plasti dipped most of it <laughs> and it's it's a uh, it's just coming off it's been rubbing off over the years so I'm just gonna put a little coat a new coat fresh coat of a uh, plasti dip pretty much where just the box sits you know plus it uh, you kind of kind of see where where this stuff was rubbing where the thing is so. all right. Yeah, nothing, nothing right, too fancy. Here goes. So I'm just gonna lie down on my back and then, and then just drill right through it, man. Now we just have to. Uh... Let me see if we can still use these bolts right here. We may have to change them. <laughs> yeah, nope. Okay, so we have to use some longer bolts now. It doesn't go. Away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the the box around so the other part hangs off the back of the trailer. I'm gonna be. I have to be really careful not to move up, not to move the uh, the wood inside though. Um, yeah. put it on some kind of square table, I think that would be best. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't fall down on me. Okay. So I'm going to put the camera inside there so you guys can see the, the okay. drill bit. You can see something pop out there. one-handed now. Okay, that should be good. So I'm gonna go get uh, the air gun. Oh, I'll just get my, my vacuum. Just vacuum all that sawdust and stuff out, and we'll go get some longer bolts. And then, uh, kind of waiting for my trailer to finish drying. Eh, I think it should be, it might be fine. You can probably touch it now. Yeah, actually, you just touched it. Ooh, okay, so I found some bolts that like they're they're longer than the ones I was using. I believe these are the ones I was using. I just have to to get an idea how much longer. It's almost twice as long, almost. Um, like I said, the reason I want to use these button head ones is because if you got stuff inside the box and you're driving around and bouncing around inside there, um, the the regular bolts, um, like the regular hex head bolts, will um, will you know tear up whatever is in there. You know, um, this one if it if something rubs against it, it's not gonna do that. So um, I know that from like riding motorcycle, um, loading up motorcycles with stuff. You know. Uh, alternatively, what you could use is this, a carriage bolt, uh, but it, it won't work. It won't work with the fender, I think. Yeah, you would have to have a square uh, hole in the. Uh, you know what? Did it work? Let's see. Let's find out. No, it won't work. Well, it might work. It might work if you force it in there. <laughs> if you force the square in there, it might actually work. But or that, or you mess up the the square. So, um, the best thing to do is use these guys. Um, these are a little bit more expensive. These are actual stainless steel, but uh, you'll see. I'll put it down here. It should fit. You can see it coming out the bottom. Yeah, see. So just enough, because we still got to put the washers in there, and the and the frame. So, all right. So let's go. Uh, let's go maneuver this into place and uh, do the thing. Um, so first, yeah, the first thing you could probably do. Let's go get your fender washers. Stick them in there already. With the bolts already, since we already got all the holes. 
lined up, you know. As you can see, it doesn't fit there perfectly anymore. There's a little piece sticking out from it. It's okay. Um, yeah, had I... Get this in here. You have to kind of like it was like a little puzzle that you had to do. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get the get the other two. Um, we'll go. Uh, we'll we'll go put it on the on the tongue. Ooh, okay, so I managed to get the first one in there. <laughs> you saw me working on it from the behind. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to get everything all lined up. Um, what I would do is just put them on loosely so you can jiggle the box around so you can get everything all lined up. Um, alternative, what you can do is probably shine a light and then try to line up all the holes. You know? Looks like the front one turned out really good. A lot of meat holding in the front. So, just try to... so you gotta put it in. You gotta line it up and then you gotta line up the hole on the bottom. Yeah, so this one's already lined up, so it's lucky. So and then I and then just we'll put the washers, the, put the nuts in. All okay, right. voila, there it is. So that is uh, that is the second part of the Hades Omega DZ trailer tongue box install. Man, it looks really nice when I after I painted the tongue black again. <laughs> it really matches it nicely now. Um, so yeah, there it is. So there's the board in there, and then the, the board is sandwiched between the uh, actual um, the container and and the uh, and the tongue the a-frame tongue so so yeah there it is all done much, much more solid base no more bowing or anything um, one thing I so like I said this thing is like not very secure I think before you know I bet if you if you like kicked it enough, you know, like kick it, like mm, we give it, give it a couple good front kicks and stuff, it'll it might bust right off. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that's pretty solid. Uh, if I think if you if you knew it was a pretty flimsy uh, box, then yeah, you probably would try to do that. Um, like I said, uh, if you have probably have like a sharp knife with like a serrated blade on it, like a half serrated blade, you could probably stab it and then just saw your way through it, you know? This, the top part, I don't think so. It's double walled. It's double walled. So the top is really strong. I don't know why they couldn't just make it the whole box like that. You know? <laughs> make the whole box double walled like that. Too too difficult, I guess. <laughs> but the, the, the top is nobody's gonna be sawing through the top. It's, it's double walled, it's really hard to do. Um, you would probably have to have a you would have to have a longer knife to stab through like two two pieces of plastic and then you would need a longer saw you know but like but if you wanted to get in there you could get in there so just don't put anything really valuable like I would put like the tie downs maybe in there and then and then like if you're if you were it's just like I, I leave my van parked down the street over there away from my house and it just sits out there on the street in public all the time so I wouldn't leave anything important you know I wouldn't leave anything in there just take everything out I would it was probably more secure inside the van you know um, is what I want to say uh, but there it is pretty strong yeah nice and strong now like I said you can probably sit on it sit on it right now <laughs> not bad so that's what I'll be rocking now on my trailer. One thing, ow, ow, one thing I did notice, one thing I did notice is uh, it does block the license plate. So on my van it does. So if I lower the this, you could probably see it, but from the back you can see the license plate. Sort of kind of. Well, I guess you can, but um, from far far enough distance it blocks the license plate. So. But if you get close enough, you can see it. So I guess it's okay. Um, all right, yeah, there. You can put a lot of stuff in it. As you can saw, see, we put my 2,000 watt portable generator in here. Um, the lid doesn't close though. Um, like I said, I could probably put firewood in there. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get wet. It shouldn't be getting wet, is what I think. Uh, I'll let you know if 
if I, if it rains, you know, and see if there's anything in there. But condensation may may build up in there too. So you may want to uh, every if it if it's been raining a lot and it's been cold, you may want to open this up and let it let it dry out. So that's kind of su the suck too right there. So hopefully hopefully it vents pretty good. Um, and what you could probably do if some water does get in there. Um, you can drill a hole on this side somewhere, like probably like right here, and then the water will drain out that way. And hopefully, it won't rot your wood, your wood or anything. So, um, yeah. So but that's the good thing about the plastic; it's waterproof. Wood, it's kind of not waterproof. It's gonna rot and stuff. So, unless you paint it or something. So, but there it is. Much stronger than before. Now there's the lock. With this here, I would suggest you get like a lock that has a uh, um, like a rubber or a plastic coating on the lock itself, so you don't have to uh, so so it doesn't you know get this. But I don't think it'll damage it. It's plastic it's, it should it's pretty it's pretty um, flexible. Is what I'm gonna say. All right, so there it is. That's the DZ uh, trailer box part two, uh, where where he's mega reinforced the 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 bottom. It's much, it feels like it's on there much better now. It doesn't move at all, as you can see. And uh, it, uh, it's got a stronger base. You can put heavier stuff in there now probably, but I, like I said, it's a, there's a 25 pound sticker there. Right here. Sticker here, it says weight 25 pounds, I guess. So I guess I think that's the weight limit. Because <laughs> we weighed the box and it was like only like nine pounds. I don't know how much it is now. It's probably around 10 pounds-ish. Um, and it's a uh, six cubic feet so, that it can carry. So, uh, all right, looking forward to trying it out. <laughs> we'll see. And when I go to next, do a next track day, uh, we'll uh, see how it does. But, uh, pretty happy with it. All right, here's me go.